Recently, I made this. This is a fingerboard made entirely out of paper. When I made this fingerboard, I was expecting it to feel pretty much exactly the same as any other fingerboard that I've made. But it turns out that paper is a lot softer than wood, which means whenever I go to pop up to do a trick, it sounds a lot quieter. That combined with brand new maple wheels and dynamic trucks, this setup is very quiet and very solid. But that got me thinking, which is never really a good thing, but today we are making the world's loudest fingerboard setup. We only have one goal today, to not have a very quiet fingerboard setup. I'm pretty sure the harder the board is, the louder it's gonna be. So I will be using a Tech Deck Performance Series deck because these things are very hard. I don't know what type of wood these boards are made of, but they are extremely hard and very tough. Which means this is pretty much perfect for making the loudest fingerboard possible. Now it is time to pick out the trucks. No matter what trucks you have on your setup, you're able to adjust them to make them either loud or quiet. There's also a lot of simple mods that you can do to trucks to make them louder or quieter. So for this build, I will be using China trucks because these are pretty easy to make very loud. On the base plate, I'm just using an O-ring because these things are pretty loud. But for the top bushing, I'm not planning on using a bushing. I'm just planning on using straight washers. Now we just have straight washers instead of bushings, which means this is now very cursed. The more I think about it, the more I realize this entire idea is cursed in itself, but we will continue and make the loudest fingerboard possible. Now we're gonna put the trucks on the board and then we can figure out what wheels we're gonna use. We only have one truck on and it already sounds like this. This has so much rattle to it and we haven't even put the wheels on. The wheels we are using are the wheels that I sell with my fingerboards. By themselves, these wheels actually are not that bad. But before I ship these fingerboard wheels with my fingerboards, I always do a spin test just to make sure there's nothing wrong with the wheels. So the four wheels that I have selected have very loud bearings for absolutely no reason. I feel like this setup is gonna be loud and annoying, which is just even better. We have all the parts on the fingerboard, but I'm not done yet. I left a space in between every wheel, so there's so many components rattling now. This thing actually sounds awful. This setup is pretty loud, but I have something that'll completely wreck it. Concrete. These bearings are gonna sound so good after this. I'm pretty sure this is as loud as it can get, so now it's time to see how loud it actually is. We have the loudest fingerboard going up against the quietest fingerboard. Pop test on the quiet fingerboard. Pop test on the loudest fingerboard. Time for the roll test. Quiet fingerboard. Loud fingerboard. Now that you guys know what this sounds like, time to actually fingerboard with it. I don't know how well you guys can actually hear this, but this is actually so loud. Surprisingly, I was still able to do some tricks on this board, but this is probably the worst board I have ever used. Go ahead and drop a comment down below what you think about this and what I should do next. I think it would only be right to make the quietest fingerboard now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video.